Alright, so this video will focus specifically on double model tricks in HeroForge and basically act as both a tutorial as well as a compilation of certain tips that you can do with it. And it goes without saying, but much like the video that I made about lighting in HeroForge, this video will be specifically for people who have a pro subscription. So if you have no intention of buying one and you don't have one currently, then this video probably won't be for you. But I mean, you, you, you might still find it interesting, you might still learn something else. I'll be going over a few other things as well. But um, it also goes without saying, there's so much thing, that th 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 there's no end really to the amount of things you can do with two, two models in Hereforge. So of course I cannot go over everything, this is more meant to be me sharing the tips that I frequently use, uh, as well as act as a bit of a tutorial towards the, the basics of the whole thing. So the first thing that we want to do is we we obviously want to make the character. So let me just uh, let me just quickly add on some very very basic things. Right, so now that I've added some very simple things to this character, there's no decals, there's no particular color, there's nothing complex going on here, but we have a character. So we press, we go into stage here, and then we go into extra, and then we click import here. And then we simply click on the same character that we already have, and we import it. And then you pull this main model into the middle once again. Now you see this twist here is on zero. And that's what we want to do with the extra model. So the extra model, we take the twist, which is for some reason turned a little bit, we drag it down to zero like this. Then, now, now begins the part where, we, where it gets a little bit tricky. We pull it forwards just a smidge and then we pull it sideways. And we need to, like this takes a little bit of practice to get right, but it's actually a lot easier than it looks. We pretty much have it perfect. Yeah, now, 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 now they are perfectly synced. However, this is going to get ruined soon again. Alright, so one of the first things you may run into when you're doing this is the the issue with boots. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a bug, but I can't say for certain. So, let's say you want to put on boots on, the, on, on both of these models, because you want to abuse this layering, right? So you put on the cloth wrap boots on the main model, and now you can see there's nothing wrong yet. Both models have been lifted up, so there's no clipping between the two. However, if we go onto the extra model and we also put on a pair of boots, let's say we want to stack a pair of different boots. I'm not saying this looks good, but let's say you put on the Bard's boots because you want it to stack and have this wrap here. Then now you see this. This is a problem which is caused by the fact that both models get lifted up by, the, by one model wearing boots, but if both of them have on, then the extra model will be lifted up further. And there's a few ways to get around this. One of them is simply you could take away the head, for example. If you take away the head, then the clipping doesn't become as noticeable, but obviously a lot of people want to stack heads because they want to have multiple hairstyles. The other problem, the other solution is obviously just to not have boots on both of them, but um, there are better ways, and one of them is to simply reduce the height of the extra model slightly. So if we pull this one down by just one, now you see it pretty much adds up again. The face is again perfectly synced. Uh, there is some very very minor clipping here along the hands, but most people are not going to notice that. Um, however, what I would honestly recommend is that you generally only use one pair of boots on one model because that is going to make your life a, ha a hell of a lot easier. So, in my tip video, I went over how you could get nice, like, English putty style, like, wrap boots, and the way you can do that in, in this, it, because, as you can see, the, the, these are pretty chunky, these boots at the moment, but when we have two models, we have options of doing things a bit differently, and if we go into weight on the extra model here, and we lower this weight, now you can see the boots become a lot thinner, and this wouldn't be possible if we had the boots on the main model, because this lower here, we, we raised this up on the main model, and it was raised on the extra model before to have these legs look thicker, but it also makes the boots thicker. And we could, we could apply this with any boots, not just these. I mean, if we slap on these boots, yeah, now you can see some clipping here, obviously, but if we had the weight on the same as the main model, like 50, then yeah, you can see the boots are very chunky, but now, 
we can make the boots thin but keeps the legs thick if that makes any sense so we lower this and i wouldn't use these boots in specific because of again the quipping but uh with these boots that kind of match the wraps of the legs here it becomes a very nice combination in my opinion and the reason another reason i want to have two models for this is because Something that's often lacking in Hero Forge is this ability to have kind of tacit leggings, especially for medieval models. I mean, you you have these pairs of legs. Um, it's, going to the main it's a common trend in that the leggings with the coolest tacits have really like thin. Like take for example the tabard pants. Like what 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 are these legs? I mean they they they, they look like spandex levels of tight. Uh, and I mean it's the, it's the exact same thing if we go to if we go to this. It's again very tight, not as bad, but quite tight. So. What I like to do is, if I keep these legs on the main model and I go into the extra model, and since we've already made the extra model very thin, we put on now, just for example, the Brigandine armor legs. And now, yeah, you can see what I'm kind of going for. And if I lower the muscularity as well to reduce clipping. Now, there's very, very minor clipping going on here. But all in all, you have here a very nice militaristic looking pair of leggings. And uh, let me just quickly color this in to, to show you how it can look. Alright, so now you have two very basic pairs of... Um, two very basic pairs of leggings put together here and we've we've not only you know combined these very nice leather tassets with these kind of militaristic baggy like rope pants but we've also thinned the extra model in order to be able to have boots that don't look nearly as uh, nearly as chunky and the reason another reason we thin this out is because we don't we want less clipping like if I go into the extra model now and I pull the lower weight up again to where it was before yeah you can see the clipping gets a lot worse and it's only made worse further by muscularity yeah you can see now this kind of turns into a bit of a mess and we, we we don't want that so we're gonna lower this back down to zero and now it also hides those little white unpainted areas inside but let's say we're not quite happy with just that i mean a lot of people want to uh, put layer clothing on a lot more than just the legs so let us quickly add this torso back on now because we've saved this since then this is kind of reset but it still has a very similar pose it's very easy to fix this we just need to pull this back into where it was before yeah you can see it's now no now missing decals now if you don't want to bother with this mess then all you can do is simply you you save uh, as test test and then we go back to heroes and we import from this the pose from the main onto the extra and there we go now the only clipping that remains here is the aforementioned clipping from the fact that the extra model is higher up than the previous and is obviously glaring a lot more now because of the color difference um so let us just quickly fix that So now we have two models put together and now let me go over some very basic perks of this, right? The first thing is you can now combine chest pieces. Like we, we, we on just the main model alone, we can we, we, we can put this on top of it, you know? And uh, you can see the extra model. If we first go into the extra model and we take away this chest piece, um, now now the extra model's chest is hidden entirely inside this other character. So on the main model now we have we have both an upper over and we can even go into neck as well. We can put that on uh, or perhaps this. Um, and let's say we quickly color this in with with red. So we do that and now, but because we have an extra model, we can also go in here and we could. For example, put another scarf on. I mean, if we wanted, we could have a chain on top of that. Oh, that would clip a little bit, but um, we could have a necklace as well. So now you have both this scarf or whatever it is, and you also have this star necklace. And then in the same vein, you could now have, um, you could now combine both this Roman overcloth along with this at the same time, if you wanted to, or, you know, you could have this vest over, that's clipped, so we would have to adjust the, the things, but 
Um, obviously, there's always going to be clipping issues that you need to kind of work around to the best of your abilities. But um, so let's look at some of the chess pieces we could combine with this if we wanted to put two together. So the issue with this chess piece here, it looks nice for the most part, but one of the problems it has is these sleeves, these arms here are very, very, very thin. So maybe we want to find a chess piece that doesn't clip too much here at the front, but that will give us a uh, nicely looking sleeve. So what about fancy dress top with a necklace? Now this is not what you would imagine a soldier to wear, but let's say if we put this on, then now we could if we raise the arms a little bit of this one now you know yeah you see what's going on here we're kind of clipping that arm and these wrist things outwards so if we go back a little bit with that to about 70 now we also want to get rid of the clipping here so how can we do that um the first thing we can do is we could go into the main model and we could take away this Roman cloth because it pushes this chest beat inwards. And then we could go into, we could raise the bust up a little bit to bring out his chest more and we could do the same with the belly. And if we pull these up like this, now this becomes a lot less noticeable. And now we could even put the Roman cloth back on I believe. Yeah, now, now you basically don't see any clipping anymore. There is some minor here, but once you color that in... And now, obviously, to the main thing, these dress gloves here can now be combined with something. So if we put these on, yeah, the, these new undercover gloves that were released just this week, and we color these in with the same color as these dress, and then like this... Now you see these kind of combinations you can start making. These gloves wouldn't be available normally. Now I probably I would probably personally prefer these gloves over them. And obviously there's some hand clipping here, which again, like th whenever you're scrolling around with double models, these are things you just need to get used to fixing. Now we have used chest pieces on both the lower model and the upper model, and we have used the the over layered clothing chest piece on the main model, which means the one thing that we have left to use is um if we go into the over of the extra model now this one we still have available and i mean a lot of options here are just gonna clip like mad like this coat like holy hell could you imagine um but if we um there are a few of these that are easier to work with than others so let's take for example a harness now there's some very very minor clipping like back here but I, that doesn't bother me very much especially not when it's resting against cloth because then it's realistic it would kind of uh clip together a little bit so if we color that in and we like this, now we have now we have effectively four different chest piece layers as well as two necks here combined all into one. And although there is some clipping, like obviously these these arm things are pretty glaring, though personally I don't mind that because it kind of looks like the arm the clothing is torn. So what about like weapons and stuff? Um and that is um so a common mistake, obviously, when people do this is that they don't finish posing the character before they do it, because as you can, as you've already been able to see in this video thus far, if you don't have a, a character finish fully posed when you get started with this, like, it's a nightmare trying to match them without importing. But, um, let's just, for now, um, uh, if we go into sword and we want to put on a weapon, let's just take the, the bastard sword here, and we make this hand loose. Now, the first problem you can see is hands will change posing whenever they equip anything. So if you're going to equip something in this one hand, you either need to remove this other arm or you need to put something in its hand as well. So let's do that. If we find, if we go into, for example, daggers and we smack this ancient scion and we make this grip loose as well. Now you can see kind of what I'm going for here, but the hands are not posed the same. So if we save this again, and we go into heroes and we import the pose from this again onto the extra model pose accept and we put the dagger back into his hand again now you can kind of see what i'm going for here now these two combined and if we color this in real quick Now you can see this is just one of like many examples of how you can combine weapons to make a, a cooler weapon. 
and there's still some very minor clipping here and there, 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 there's a way we can fix this by the way we have access to several different pairs of gloves and so let's just go into gloves here and we put on the same pair of gloves and we just color it the same uh like there there you go the clipping is gone um but personally i prefer to do something more interesting with this extra option so i mean we could have a fingerless glove with wraps i mean that's something that you can normally not get together so if we just color these like wraps real quick and there you go there's again some minor clipping but it's actually pushed the hand in a bit so the the previous clipping is is less egregious now another obvious perk of uh, having two models is you can combine shoulder pads so let me quickly show you an example of that if we take this shoulder pad on the main model and on the extra model we take the rugged fur shoulder pad and let me quickly pose this around a little bit now you're beginning to see what i'm going for here in that i can i can put these together and put the lower shoulder pad uh which is now fur underneath the bigger one so if we quickly just color this in we, we put fur on that and now i'm, I'm gonna monocolor a little bit here you'll have to forgive that so we make this entire shoulder pad gray and you can kind of see how this this fur now sticks out from underneath the other shoulder pad and it kind of looks like it's part of the same thing so i have now gone over ground up from some of the very basic and simple things that i like to do with layer clothing which as per usual is just kind of making these grounded down to earth soldier like models and like making them grittier making like finding these nice combinations that i think were cool but um let me show you some other more varied things you can do with later clothing things that might be of more interest to people with more uh, fantasy based or sci-fi models so this is the uh, vlad dracula tepesh model that i made a while back uh, a time lapse of and uh, i have two models in this one and the reason i do for that is because there's there's some issues in the pieces of clothing that that i chose for this so if i move these arms out the way so now you can see kind of what I've done here and that there's two chest pieces combined here and the main reason for that is because the chest piece that I've used on the main model, this one, it doesn't allow for any anything here near the neck and it's also very plain. So if I take this lower chest piece away, now you can see the problem here and that is you have this bare neck area here and a very plain like chest piece. So what I did was on the extra model, I went and I took uh, this adventurer's breastplate and I combined the two to have this kind of color here. And yeah, there, there is some clipping, there always is with double model, but you'll have to live with that. But the, the more immediate thing you might notice is these hairstyles. And these are two different hairstyles that I've combined with each other. The uh, exact ones are the patchy hair, which is usually used on an undead model, and then the the shoulder length wavy hair on the main model so if i take the shoulder length wavy hair away you'll see yeah i mean the scalp of the extra model is just colored black to try and hide any kind of white skin but um if i put the hair back then you'll see it makes for this very nice kind of combination but uh, another thing here is these two cloaks and from behind this looks a little bit funky obviously but from the sides it kind of looks like he's wearing this one big cloak that goes over the shoulders and the reason for that is because i've used two cloaks I have the traveler's cloak on the main one and on the extra one and they are both posed to hang over his shoulder sideways now here's another cameo from one of my older videos and that is savika from arcane now in this one i actually went over this at the time in the video but there's obviously a lot of things you can notice for for starters i have um i have wraps like one pair of leggings is these thief leggings with all the pouches and the and the knee pads and then the second pair of leggings is just wraps which is meant meant to make these pants look more torn etc to go with this clipping here which is intentional by the way in this case uh the second thing is obviously this arm there's two different pairs of shoulder pads here as you can see there's the upper one and the lower one and they're kind of meant to be hanging like these overhang plates over this core which is you using a, a second arm holding it's a little thing by the way but um then there's obviously these two mechano arms so if i problem is with these uh, normally is that one of them is not quite enough on its own so if i go into the extra model and i remove this arm altogether then you can see that there this uh, normal metallic arm that i have on the main model is not quite enough on its own it's very thin it's very bare bones so what i do is i have the clawed arm this one 
on the extra model, but if uh, subsequently if I went into the main model and I removed the uh, this robotic arm as well, then the cloud arm wouldn't be enough on its own either because it loses a lot of the detail that it has here that kind of connects it to this mechano core. So if I put that back on, then you can see it gets a lot chunkier here. And obviously both of these arms are required in order for me to properly pose these shoulder pads like this as well. And just to finish, I'm going to include a few random sporadic examples of other things you can do. So one of the usual problems in HeroForge is that if you put on like say a backpack and then you want to have a back item on top of that, say a machete, then the machete hangs, hangs on top of the backpack even if that might not be the most realistic or looks the most good. And um, a simple way to get around this problem is simply you take away the backpack from the main model and you put it on the extra model. And now on the main model, you go back into back items and let's say you want a big spear on the back. So you put the halberd here and now you can see the halberd clips in underneath the backpack, which actually looks more realistic in this situation. And that way you can have them both and it looks pretty decent. And obviously, I mean, it goes without saying, but I've only shown you one example of what you can do with like legs and chest piece combinations here. There's, there's a hell of a lot more of it to go around. I mean, there's a lot of these legs for starters that are basically skirts and look really bad on their own. But let's say you take... Um The same goes for chess pieces, although I will say it is harder to properly clip chess pieces into one another and make them look decent uh, than it is with the legs. Um, so if you're new to it and you're practicing, then honestly, I what I did was I started from the ground up. I began with just legs, then I started working on, on the chess piece, and the last thing I did was head, and obviously... I haven't really gone into the, the amount of clipping you can do with, with head, heads yet, but like, just as an example, if I put on say a uh, a helmet here we could we could do this helmet doesn't quite match with the medieval armor we have and then we go into the extra model and we need to give him his head back from the beginning and uh, you can already see the clipping there and we go into head and we give him a a hood now you can see there's a bit of clipping here but that's why we go into body and the measure and then on the extra model this is we raise the size of the head until there you go now the hood suddenly covers up this um that now the hood and the and this helmet looks like they're part of the same chest piece, and obviously we might want to pick a more medieval-looking helmet on the the main model here. Um, not that one is going to be too big. Perhaps something like this, like a Viking helmet. Now we just make the hood a little bit bigger again, uh, or we want something that completely covers the face. Ideally, we could take this. I mean, this this is a bit bigger, but but it works. Yeah, here we go. Nice medieval helmet with a hood. And uh, here you go. Here is my uh, my. Uh, abomination of, of different uh, layered clothing tips all smacked onto onto one character he looks pretty cool I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty happy with this considering this is just randomly thrown together in a hurry whilst recording all right so I think that is it for now and obviously there's I'm, I'm only scratching the surface of things that you can do with two models here uh, as you guys know, I'm not generally the biggest fan of these like more fantastical, super flashy, like mega golem minis. I, I tend to prefer making human characters. But yes, uh, if you liked this video, then please press like. And if you dislike this video, then by all means, uh, press dislike.